as we stand here opposite two hotel renaissances in the same tiny tiny renaissances renaissance renaissance i don't know how you use renaissance is there a plural to renaissance renaissance i don't know if i'm saying that word right anymore but as we stand here beside two hotel renaissance in the tiny village of halt two hotels um we have a confession to make ladies and gentlemen we have a confession i could not make that other map work <laughs> I literally could not make that other map work. So in the last episode, we started up a new game to test out the beta and we selected a very hard map, uh, lots of industry, blah, 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 blah. And we made a big loop in the corner of the map down here with this the trains going back and forth, the kidney loop. Uh, maybe there'll be some footage there. Uh, after like 12 years, it, it lost money. And I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, well, let's try this a different way. Let's just do a, you know, a back and forth with the train and then a, the, 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 the the horse and cart can take the stuff in and we lost all the money i think i tried four different tries on that map uh, you know just using one horse and cart back and forth the losing money losing all the money i could not make it work um and i was a bit baffled <laughs> i mean i'm not in no way an expert at this game in no way very good at this game but i have played for a while and i kind of get the concept of it and i literally could not make a cent um so we started again. <laughs> this is the new map. I'm sorry. It just had to be done. I, you know, look, we're not playing this to play the very hard mode. That's not what, you know, we're playing this to explore the new beta stuff and to see what's happening and all that kind of jazz. We're not playing this to punish ourselves in very hard. Um, I'm not the sort of person who likes to punish myself. If you're into that sexually and all that kind of stuff, that's your thing. Don't tell me about it. Stop talking about it. Why would you tell me that stuff? I don't want to know. That's your business. But... <laughs> we're back we've got a new map we generated a new map it's a, exactly the same seed um and i think i did all the same things it'll just be the towns are different the things are all slightly different uh, in a slightly different area and it looks slightly easier hopefully i don't know but um the first thing i have noticed is that at the village of holt wherever it is we can get a bit of the old uh, brick action going on that's pretty close and pretty easy to do so i think we're going to do that i do like the bricks for some reason i like the bricks as a starting point you know so sue me but I think that's what we're going to do. Or we could pop up to here. Stockport does... Whoa. Sorry, that's my alarm telling me to get out of bed. It is, as always, very early in the morning. Um, Stockport does love a bit of fuel. So there is this potential as well. Fuel, 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 fuel. Uh, which eventually could be a nice loopy thing with a train. We're not going to start with trains. Maybe it, I think that's my problem, starting with trains. I don't think we are able to do that <laughs> i don't think i'm good enough to start with trains so let's do it here let's do stockport and let's get this set up one second we're going to come back in a second okay and we're back uh, so we set up a quick little line here so in the village of stockport we've got the crude coming into here we've got that going to there and then the fuel going to there uh, a little bit of a loop going on so the crude people taking it to there taking it to the fuel then back to pick up so that's quite nice and then just a single line running for this guy um, into town and back uh, we're gonna take this slow guys <coughs> i spent maybe two hours maybe three hours last night uh, trying on the old map to get things to work and I was kind of frustrated and you know it was really fast and I was like oh this is so annoying and I don't you know we want to see the new things in the beta that's what we want to see uh, but also I like I like this game I don't like I don't need it to be fast um, so we're going to slow the time down to one quarter so one quarter of the time passing it's going to be very very slow indeed but i think that's fine and it will give me more chance to kind of do things and edit things in in the single video so to speed things up uh, and then uh, you know all that kind of jazz so let's uh first things first let's pay back some of this money so we already owe five hundred thousand. i always find that right at the start the loan interest is the thing that's killing me so because we're not immediately using this money right now remember we can borrow this money at any point but let's just reduce our invoice uh interest payments down to as low as possible so we're not wasting money we can re-borrow up to 10 million so we're fine uh with that now this i think is a nice little system i don't think there's much i can do to improve on it remember we said at the start of the first uh episode uh we wanted to be efficient and we wanted to be something else <laughs> we definitely wanted to be efficient and connected 
you know like so everything should be you know on imagine one big train line where the trains just zoom around touching every city that sort of thing i want to be as much as connected as we possibly can you know loop a loop between these three cities that loops into these three cities that loops into those three cities exactly exactly etc exactly whatever the words i'm saying now this obviously requires two of the oil so that will be a situation and i think it's probably best if we take it from this one over to there and back there's quite a lot of oil in this area which is great and this will eventually become i mean not oil but crude eventually become a crude dumping ground i guess but then just looking around quickly is there anything else we can do for another city in terms of making them some money quick and growing them growing them is the key yeah we can grow somewhere close to stockport we can then get passenger numbers in between and passengers are where we're going to make that moolah a sweet sweet moolah who wants the moolah sorry um mm, i'd really like somewhere close to stockport that would get better i guess guess this bread into there and over to there it's a little bit of a hassle back and forth isn't it but actually as they bring it over to there they take bread back but we need also need two breads that's the problem with oh wheat with wheat and with fuel you need two of them don't you oh first things first wait this one is closer to that than that one okay so let's just uh, get some stuff going into there for sure I should have seen that uh, I don't know what I'm looking at uh, buildings now pop one of these down um, We'll also try to be efficient in our use of these things. You know, I, I often just put four or five of the damn things down so I don't have to worry about terminals and all that kind of jazz. Uh, but we, we'll try to be a bit better that way. Uh, pop this guy here, coming into here. It's going to get a little bit congested in there. Uh, it should be okay, it should be okay. Uh, name the line, this is a road line, this is a uh, process line, this is Stockport, and this is crude. Well, what was that? Get out of my way, tip. Uh, this is crude. Crude. Let me write it, please. Crude. There we go. Enter. At Beverly North, all you're going to do is you're going to load up the crude. And here you're going to unload the crude. And we're going to set these. Everything's being set to 120 seconds. I think that's a nice... I like that as a, as a waiting time interval. I think that works well. Um, Bam, uh, and then we just have to add a couple of drivers to that. Uh, obviously, starting in 1850, you're gonna. It takes a while for the first cars to come through, yeah. Um, but that's fine. We, I can speed things up and do a lot more off camera, so that we come back and see real progress being made. Uh, get the map speedy, speedy, feet speedy. This is also. We need a few more of the guys on this one. This circular route, because you can see there's a big gap now between this one. And this one being the last one coming through. Uh, and probably a few more on this one. Like so. Now obviously these are prime for trains. You know, a train coming in here. Crude. Drop the crude. Take oil. Swing around. Pick up crude. Take crude back. No. There's a way to work this. That's definitely a loop. Train loop. Crude. Oil. Fuel. Crude. Oil. Fuel. And that would be great. I just think I, I need to make some money first because I just I tried that so many times in that previous map and I I, I failed. I failed miserably. Um, get a couple more on here. Get one more on here. <coughs> okay, let me speed through this through and play for a couple of years, and we'll come back and see if we've actually made some money this time. Okay, 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 okay. Um, this seems to all be working lovely. I said at the start, and I said a couple of minutes ago, and I said many times, and I'll say some more. <laughs> now, efficiency, yeah, that's the key. That's the key to this playthrough. Efficiency, uh, connectivity, yeah, connecting, nice loops, hubs, all that kind of stuff. Profitability. Profitability is number three, yeah. I'm not going to freaking start a line unless it makes money. Yeah, we're only making money. None of this, like, you know, oh, this bus line loses money. No, we can make money on the buses when the buses come. We'll do the buses, yeah? But we want every line to be profitable from the start. Um, I often forget about that and go, oh, it doesn't really matter. That's just one leg of this line, and this actually, the whole thing makes all money, and, you know, no, everything profitable. Everything profitable. Um, so if we look at it, stock, this is the crude oil kind of circuit here. 
This one is making nice money, uh, double its costs at least, if not more. So that's fantastic. Uh, we've got this line coming here, which is bringing the crew just straight into there. This is our port stock crew. This line is making uh, probably about 30, 40% more than that its costs, which is great. And then we've got the line coming into Stockport with the actual fuel. This line is making just a little bit more, just a little bit more. We could maybe add one more cart onto that i think it's okay for now um, the issue we will have obviously is that we are delivering from two crude sources into this oil production or the oil refinery so and only taking out uh, what these guys carry we will eventually grow the stockpile in this depot here um, and it'll, because they're only picking up four at a time. They're dropping off four and picking up four, but also these guys are dropping off four. So eventually, this uh, little thing here, you can see there's nine stockpiled, but that's going to grow by one or two every few months and eventually get higher. What we could do is then just stick in a single car that just goes back and forth, single cart, I mean, that goes back and forth just to get rid of that and use up that so we're not wasting anything at all i don't think that's a bad idea let's do that i don't think it's a bad idea and i'm thinking it should make some money if we just keep it simple like so and this is going to be a road line this is a process this is stockport uh and it's uh oil yeah it's stockport oil yeah cool i think i'm getting the hang of my new naming nomenclature i think i like saying that word nomenclature i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right uh, but i'm pretty sure it loads that and uh here it just unloads it unloads that yeah and we set the timer to 120 seconds like so 120 seconds there we go fantastic and then we buy a little just one just one dude sitting on there Bye, bang, bing, bong, like so. Now, one of the things in the new game is, is, is there is custom colors for everything. Is there not? Custom colors. I've got gray and what? Press shift. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, cool. So we can use the whole spectrum of the RGB system uh to color our stuff that's kind of fun it's kind of fun i'm not too stressed about the colors of the car so let's see what we can do you manage vehicle custom color let's make you bright red oh i just made it red that's all didn't look much difference it's just got a bit of red there isn't it yeah it's just a bit redder there than that one see hmm yeah, I'm not worried about that until we get like trains and stuff like that. Uh, I don't think it should be much of an issue. So that should now be profitable. We should be making money. I've paid back all but two million of the loan. Uh, and the idea is to get that paid back as fast as possible. We're earning about 30,000, 40,000 per year, but the loan payments are about 20,000. So we're not making profit profit yet. So once again, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna run this for another year or so to see if we can, um, uh, get some more money in the bank, so to speak. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Obviously, I'm an idiot. By creating a second line running from here to here, we create a different demand structure uh, from this terminal. That means that basically this oil one, I think is gonna be more, because maybe its frequency is eight minutes versus uh, the frequency of the other one, which is 81 seconds. I don't know. It's not gonna work that way because it's just going to keep on it's going to push more into stockport oil instead of the the circuit we're doing that means the circuit's going to start to lose money that's not what we want manage vehicles sell vehicles we will that's going to destroy our profitability on that line uh we will leave that line there as a thing in case we want to start it up again later on but we're not going to use it so much for now so i'm just going to change this to um i'm just going to change let me write defunct df for now um so we know that we've taken that away okay oh no wait 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 we have to delete the line don't we i think we have to delete the line otherwise it, i think it might still put stuff there or oh, yeah uh, delete the line i i completely didn't think of that of course it's, it's gonna go see because now we've got empty trucks 
that's not right. That's just that's going to cost us profit. Aha! We have our first industry being removed. St. Helens oil refinery will be removed if not served in 92 days. Where is St. Helens? Now on the map we can see it because it'll have a little bar above us. There's another one going as well. Lots of them. Okay. Where is it? Okay, up here. So this oil refinery uh, will be going. Now we can see that little bar. So this is one of the new things in the new update. Uh, the industries are dynamic. If you don't use them, they are going to disappear. Um, so things, new industries will spawn, but we need to use this. And by use, we can't just like say pop a, uh, a truck stop there. We actually have to have a line that actually has to be producing. It actually has to drag stuff into another place. Um, I've tried just putting a truck stop there. I've tried making a line, but not putting any trucks on it. And you actually have to use the whole thing. Okay, so wait, that's going. This up here is going. What else is going? Anything we really want to use? This oil thing is going. It's annoying. It's, it's going to make it a little bit trickier. This bread, this wheat, I mean, is going. Okay, none of that is too annoying right now. We just have to kind of hope that there will be more stuff in the future. The next area we're going to focus on is here, this Holt and Lee situation. They both need the same things, which is great. But one of those things they do need is brick. Now we have a quarry there, a quarry there, a brick factory here. So effectively we can quarry into, quarry into, and then brick out, brick out. And we could almost, look at this, quarry, brick, brick, and back. Quarry, brick, brick, and back. Like that. That would be a nice thing. I think that's a nice thing. It makes me feel happy inside. Um, okay, cool. But let's, uh, sorry, we were just letting this run, but we've seen our first abandoned factory is going to happen. I'm waiting for a spawn factory, something to pop up on the map that I haven't seen before. I wonder if it'll alert us to that. Because I'm pretty sure that's what happens. I hope that's what happens, because if everything just keeps on disappearing, then we're screwed. <laughs> then we're in big, big trouble. Okay, okay, okay. So we've roughly been going, what, nearly three years now. Uh, just wanted to see how the profitability is going. Uh, not too bad. Oh, my God. All, there's so many things closing. <laughs> We're gonna have to have a look. We might have to move a little bit faster than I really wanted to, but we can see that we are currently profitable on our um, road investments here. So we're making about 45,000 a year, or whatever this is, a quarter, uh, I think it is. Um, uh, that's given us a profit of 24 after the loan interest. So the loan's still 2 million. We really want to pay that back. But obviously, I think right at the start here, we'll probably end up borrowing lots more and then paying it back at a later date. But we are, I think, at the end of this redo episode, this is like episode two again, I demand a redo, um, we are doing well. In terms of hitting our three main targets, we are efficient as far as i can tell i can't see any way to make this more efficient this is a circle this goes like this they come into there they go back there the roads are pretty straight and direct um the into the uh thingy majiggy is pretty fast there doesn't seem to be any backup what slow down man dozens of things are closing constantly um so things are moving into the uh, depots pretty fast. They're moving out of the depots pretty fast. The roads are kind of straight. I straightened this road here to make that a little bit good. Stockport itself is growing. We're at 188 target population, but we're at actually 190. Oh, but we're losing. Why are we losing? Just because we've got a slight bit of emissions. So that is these guys coming through there. I'm not too stressed about that. As long as we can keep roughly around that target population in terms of actual population, I think that's a good thing. Um, every line is profitable. So that's good. 24,000 on the crude line. Uh, 51,000 on the crude oil circuit and 16,000 on the direct delivery of the fuel. So I think that's good. I don't think we can do better in terms of efficiency. We've met profitability. Connectivity. I think it's, I mean, it's good we're connecting the things that are important. Uh, obviously, you know, we need to start thinking about connecting up towns. Now, Fowley and Stockport are, not Fowley, Fowey, 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 I don't know what the hell that is, are connected. They do have people on there. Uh, we've got eight people going back and forth. So that's a nice potential for the future. And then there is this little town, Beverly, where six people are going back and forth. So this is a lovely little connecting thing here. And back up, or book up, back up. Book of, I don't know how you do This is a beautiful circle. Look at this. It's a beautiful circle of loveliness. Um, definitely we want to do something with that in the future. 
So in terms of our three target things to do, we are hitting them. Um, everything is closing constantly. Uh, I haven't seen anything spawn. And I don't know if it notifies, as I said, I don't know if it notifies you. We do need to keep an eye because this is where we want to go next. Holt, Lay, or Lee, and this quarry brick situation is the next development area for us. And we'll be doing that in the next episode. Um, and we want to make those again profitable right from the start. But we'll probably end up borrowing, you know, a few million doing that and then paying that million back as we earn money from both this network and this network up here. As this grows, this connection between Fowey, I guess, we can't, can we grow, we can grow Fowey with this wheat. That's the, probably the best option. And then that'll help, you know, more passengers in between the two because these cities will be larger because at the moment it's only 112. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really apologize about having to redo this. Um, I tried so hard. I really tried so hard last night for hours and hours. Up, I was up until at least midnight redoing that map again and again and again <laughs> doing different things and just nothing made money i could not work out why um yeah it was, it was baffling uh but i hope you're not too disappointed in me as i said before i'm not an expert i'm just a fool who likes to play and make the cars go round and round um i love this look at this i just like I, this is what i like to do to be honest this is what i do for half the time look at that um but we are doing well we're back on track. Uh, let me know down below where you think I've gone wrong. <laughs> and if I could make this more efficient, um, let me know down below if you've seen like a really cool connection that I've missed while I've been scrolling around a little bit. Um, and uh, let me know down below if you've tried the beta and you are enjoying it as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you soon. Bye.